I'm Barbara Gray and never trust a man with a great penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey and I don't want to say I have an authority problem, but if I'm staying with people that have kids and they make a big deal about their kids brushing their teeth, I will secretly definitely not brush my teeth. <laughs> 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 Just to be like, fuck you, I didn't do it. <laughs> to myself, I'm a crazy person. Okay. Anyway. We'll delve, I want to delve more into that. In okay. Um, <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and I wear like five outfits a day, and almost all of them are pajamas. <laughs> and this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. Hello! We got Barbara Brandy, and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby, it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies, ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Hey, it's time for the ladies show. Ladies show, the ladies show. Time for the ladies show. Here it starts now. I just want everyone to know we were all doing jazz hands for that. Yeah, absolutely. Some shoulders go in. In our hearts and in our minds. Uh, yeah. Let's bring and our bodies. Yes, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's bring in our guests so we can get in delve into this toothbrushing. <laughs> yeah, thing. I want to talk about this. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right, cool. Blair <laughs> Saki, hello. Hey, thank you very much for having me, longtime fan. Oh my Yay. god, thanks for being super here. fucking funny comedian. Oh, thank you. Really yes. excited to have you on. Blair thank Saki. you. Um, what's up? Oh my god, I was just thrilled to, you know, get brought up to the majors when I got the <laughs> call, so pretty excited yeah. to be here. Um, What's the D-League? Is there a podcast called, like, Girl the Girl that you've done to get me? ready for this? Yeah. Oh, um, probably Girl Talk, Pussy Girls. Yeah, yeah. Pussy something. Girls, they're funny. I like that. No, it's a, that's pussy the whole thing. Kind of I but. think Girl Talk Pussy Girls is the name. Yeah. Thank that's you. our new name. Yeah. yeah. Microphone pussies. Did you guys play Girl Talk? When you were kids? No. Fuck yeah. Oh, so good. Uh-oh. Good game. Which one is it's that? It's the one that has the, uh, fa- you just like ask each other. It, it's like truth or dare. Yeah. Okay. But then they have, they give you fake pimples to put on your face oh. if you like get something wrong. I'm going to so see if, they, if I can find the girl talk questions. They're like, Oh yeah. Acne, oh my God. Get acne. the questions. If yeah. you are bad, you deserve acne <laughs> and you won't be yeah. loved by the world. They're, they're, it's beauty standards. <laughs> yeah. Drilled in. It's it's like very young. Age. Right before you're going to get acne, they shame <laughs> you for getting acne. Hypothetical <laughs> It's kind of nice. You're probably covering up the Reels that you do have, yeah, yeah. man. I, yeah, find the girl talk questions. Oh, yeah, I bet they're they're really stupid. Yeah. Girl, talk. they're like a lot of them be like, call your crush. Yeah, yeah. they're all yeah. about a crush. They're all all of them are about crush. Yeah, oh, I see. isn't there a phone or is that dream date? That's dream date. Yeah. There was also Mall Madness. Mall Madness was fun as fuck. They all kind of live in the same space in yeah. my head, right? I they're think all so. Pink. You're, it, they're yeah. kind of like role-playing games for if you're boy crazy. <laughs> it's funny. You know, that must be it because you know I hate games, but I always liked those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are fun. I always just want to talk about who we had crushes on. Yeah. I hate games, too. You do? Yeah. yeah. Yes. They're awful. What a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time I get invited to a game night, I'm like, we're still doing this. We, right? I, yeah. have, I don't like anything active in the home. No, absolutely <laughs> you like not. You mean you're just blankets and TV time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like great. a real fun girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone what has about, their own no, interpretation of it. Would you do uh, stretching at home? Yeah, I'll stretch. <laughs> <laughs> but as long as it's not over, like, not over 20 miles an hour. All right. I'm stretching. Yeah. Real slow. I, just, I don't like anything active in the home. <laughs> okay, the last game night, I had to do, I think it was cranium. And oh. um, I set my team so far back. Like, <laughs> everyone was, like, a mile ahead and it was me. It was all me. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, that's ah. terrible. And people are getting actually angry about it. You're like, yeah, fuck off. That kind of competitive shit. I like games a lot. a lot, but that gets annoying. Well, yeah. And then it just makes you hate games more, which makes you worse at them. And yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I'm smart. I need to prove this to you. No. Motherfuckers. Exactly. No. I'm in a weird situation Absolutely. right now, you guys. A game situation? I'm in a game situation. <gasps> oh. uh, let me tell you what's going on. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, like, say any names here. This might be weird. That'll be fine. Uh, it's so funny to bring Ooh, it up. I love all this prefacing. <laughs> well, all okay. Well, so I'm in a, so I'm in a, a game. Uh, you're gonna, n- not going to like this. I'm playing a game of Risk Legacy with a group of people, which is, like, a game you play. You play the game, like, 20 times or something. Okay. Over okay. over a course. Yeah. I, Risk over a is course. a long game, too. 
It yeah, it, these yeah. games have endings, so it's not. It oh could wait, be Risk like Legacy is the one that's a blank board, and you like build you build Cut. the whole world together, Pretty right? Much, yeah. So every time somebody wins a game, you can like it's fun because you, you can, can name uh, something. You can like you get to name a continent. Brendan you played know. this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I played a game with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's funny because we have a lot of stuff called like Clitville and stuff yeah, like that's that. Cool. You know, I, like it. Yeah. I think I. <laughs> That's so worthwhile. I knew Tess would like that. I was like, let me tell. I think I called. You, you had me. A I think I called one the comedy bureau. I think I called. Aww. Just Aww. dumb. So if you win the game, you get to like do something dumb to the board. Yeah. Um, so I'm playing with like a group of five people and mm -hmm. it's hard, you know, schedules are hard to like yeah. figure out and get together. And one is a couple. The couple just broke up. Oh. So I'm like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Who can invest the time group? in this Who game? The game? Well, this is which the one classic, do we invite? It's a classic couple conundrum. Yeah. yeah. And you obviously have to choose which one you like better. Yeah. Yes. I like them both a lot. Um, no, there's one you like a little bit better. Right? Hmm. It's like, no, I really honestly. Like, can they not like, like them both? Can they not work it? work it out for the game night. I mean, night. it's a pretty raw... I don't think Bad breakup. I, I just don't think it All would right. make sense. Okay, which right, one's right. the bigger gamer? Neither of them. I don't... I Well, I think she dislikes the game more, so maybe... But <laughs> I like maybe none she'll of, see of you herself enjoy it. out. Yeah. yeah. It's a She's great... She's like, finally, God. Yeah, I, think, I was just I don't waiting know for she, the axe. I don't... I don't fucking I, play Risk she, Legacy Honestly, anymore. that might be why she exactly. broke up with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that a game would she break me angry. up for sure. She got the most real angry uh, <laughs> playing it. So, but I also like feel like I'd rather invite her because I think he's like busy. He has you know might be busier. Her schedule's easier to work with. Yeah, well, and just like sh doing giving like in, I would rather be like, hey, let's go do something together with her. I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, to like help her, are fill you, up her time or whatever. Going are comedians. One is. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to have to tell the ousted person, like, formally that they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or we're gonna have to like do a whole like dethroning. Yeah. Of this person. yeah. Don't you have yeah. that risk? Yeah. They have continents Send to, to the divide continent up. called "You're not in the game anymore." Oh <laughs> a stand. Yeah. Barbara Gray has sent you a message. <laughs> I Gray like sent it on a you. scroll or whatever. Absolutely. This is like a hardcore role playing game. Yeah, I don't know. It, it'll be fine, but it was just kind of a. I was like, well, this is a weird situation. Yeah, I didn't that's tricky. To be in. That's so funny. It's the ultimate. It's not just like, oh, I'm having a party. It's like we're supposed to have a. It's a commitment. We're supposed to play 15 more of these. Oh my god! <laughs> it was just never gonna happen. <laughs> At this point, we literally haven't met in like six months, I think. So I, I doubt this game will ever. Well, maybe one of finished. them will will get into a relationship before your. Oh, next that's game true. I can and just bring the other replace, person. Yeah, replace the person. Yeah, just like take over their continents <laughs> and, and countries. Like, and it's that funny because you sign if you win the game, the, that game, you yeah. sign your name. So we'll just like cross off the other person <laughs> and be like, they weren't here. <laughs> that's really funny. All right. <laughs> I we'll see. It. We'll see what happens. Hell yeah. yeah please keep us posted. Oh, I yeah. mean, the thrilling. That's gripping. That is yeah. the most exciting thing I've ever heard happening at a board game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Truly. Risk you will fuck it. you up, too. Man, I yeah. remember in college, in, no, in high school, we played a game of regular Risk with my friend Carl, and we all ganged up on him, and he got so fucking mad. He got pissed. He flipped the board and left. He didn't talk to us for a week and a half. <laughs> I think it might be the last time I legitimately played a board game. That I was is like, hilarious. It was so funny, because we also followed him out. We just kept calling him Hitler. We were like, you shitty Hitler. You're a shitty Hitler. We took all your continents, bitch. <laughs> and then he like drove away, did not talk to anybody for a week. And I think I tapped out after games after that, because I was like, nothing will ever be this fun. Right, right, right. right. I, Once you have some good game drama, you got to yeah. yeah, call yeah, it a night. Yeah, yeah exactly. I did. Uh, I remember like when I was first dating Sean we were in New York together and we were at this bar in Brooklyn mm -hmm. and I was like let's play chess yeah uh, and he is better at chess than me. And yeah. I don't like him being better at anything than me. Absolutely. Uh, and he beat the shit out of me. And I was a very sore Yikes. loser. Yeah. And he will not play chess. That was the first and last oh, time yeah, we yeah, ever yeah. played chess. I, yeah. bought, I bought an ex a chess board and we played and I got so pissed. I think I like threw it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard to lose at chess? It, because it is like an intelligent yeah, game. It's you a feel, smart person game. Yeah, yeah you yeah. feel like a fucking idiot yeah. if you lose. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you're not smarter than me. I know I'm smarter yeah, than especially you. Especially if it like wasn't even really a fair fight. Like if <laughs> Right, right. You should have never been there in the first place. Yeah. I just learned my way out. Yeah. Just throw a tantrum. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. And like, then we don't have to play anymore. Totally. <laughs> oh, man, that'll, 
that'll piss somebody this off. This is you're valuable. Just like, I think I'm done with this game. <laughs> if you stop a game that's already started, because you're like, nah, I'm over it. I've tried. No, no, I'm gonna throw <laughs> the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll fuck them up. I yeah. think yeah. Tess's personal hell is like being invited to a party that's all games and she can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It happened yeah. to me when we were in Tennessee on that tour, and yeah. all the other guys they, oh, right. they got oh, a little bit. Yeah. I was stuck in the small town in Tennessee. You can imagine this hell. I was. Stuck I'm in a bit about it on stage right now about game night. <laughs> I sat at a gas station for three hours because yeah. I was like, I would rather sit up <laughs> by myself. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, in Tennessee, gas station, lots of good people watching. Exactly. That's yeah. like a, a that's I bought that on. newspaper with the mug shots and in yeah. red oh, yeah. 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 You had a night. Yeah. That's great. I've told the tale of the apples to apples at Denny's. <laughs> I get angry thinking about it every fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really. Yeah. I mean, I like them, but I, I get it. Yeah. It's infuriating. That's all right. Well, yeah, that's it. That's the episode. We've, we've run out of things to talk about. <laughs> we fucking did it. Very. I'm just staring. I'm making eye contact with the girl in the covers of the apples to app or the the girls talk uh, video, uh, whatever the fuck. What this was is, the game? The cover. Can you tell us yeah, what, what the context the is? Um, uh, if you were a girl in the '90s, you probably remember playing Girl Talk. Whether it was Girl Talk, a game of Truth or Dare, or or Girl Talk Dateline. No sleepover was complete without playing a round or three with your besties. Of course, it was all fun and games until you played as an adult and discovered a glitch or ten in the Girl Talk Matrix. Here are some of your favorite things yeah, you're younger. Right. So I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just, are you telling me you that? wouldn't play Celebrity Pictionary, though, if they picked you? Yeah. You don't want to play Pictionary that with, sounds, like, oh, chair If or I was something? on TV? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll do anything on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is funny. <laughs> Especially with chair. Yeah. yeah. There's a picture of the Girl Talk thing, and one of the guys on it, his name's Gert. Oh my god! Oh. What the fuck? Oh. Gert's a real name. That, we have That's... so we have we used to do characters on the show, and Gert yeah. is our biggest. Oh fan. really? Yeah. yeah, we like thought we made up the name Gert. Gert's well, a real name. A sign. Wow. Yeah, loves. He's the nerd character. Loves algebra, <laughs> rock music, and gym class. That's what his card says. All of those are lies. Gert doesn't love that shit. That's really funny. I think gym class. I have to say, like, really fucked up. In high school, like they do gym class yeah. so wrong. You know what I mean? Like I love working out, and I hated gym class yeah. because it was never about working out. It was always about putting because you were, could never wash your uniform often enough. Like gym was yeah. always so gross. Mm -hmm. Well, and they also kept being like, "You have to shower. You fucking have to shower. You have to change." Everything it was very it. shamey. It was like I don't want to get naked in the middle of the school day. Yeah. I don't want any of this. It's a Mine very was shamey all um, female called fitness, mm -hmm. and um, what well, was like females in training? It was near. like my volleyball coach, so we didn't have to do shit, and like. The only requirement was that you change into a uniform. Yeah. But mm. then one day, I don't know what happened. Um, my friend made me laugh, and I fully peed like my <laughs> sweatpants. Like I don't know why, because it hasn't happened to this day. But yeah. if, you know when you laugh and like sometimes like a little peel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time it was like I All had no control, and I you're in those fucking gray sweatpants. <laughs> yep. And I had missed so many days of school that when I went, <laughs> I had to walk across campus <laughs> to like I asked if I could go home. Uh -huh. And um, I called my mom and I was like, because I went to a private school and I called my mom and I was like, can I come home? I peed my pants. <laughs> and, um, and she was like, no, uh, oh, shit. no, you've missed too much. And I was like, well, I need to come home because I literally have piss everywhere. <laughs> this Humiliating. That's Being your comedian ground zero people for are sure. So <laughs> teens. Yeah. Like, well, men, why do men have a better system of keeping their piss in? It's like, <laughs> we're like not enclosed, right? Or something. It is. We were just talking last episode about how my husband, I find pee on his drawers frequently. Yeah. Yeah. What? Because he pees like, and then comes out and they're a little bit like it doesn't wipe. It's, it's like the shape. There's a little dribble, it's a little, a little dribble. pee dribble. Men's bathrooms are covered in piss. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. So are women's. Really so. Yeah. Women's are pretty gross. But yeah, it is weird that like we just have, we are just kind of like a hole. Like it's a, yeah. like gravity, yeah, yeah. it's just a gravity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. we're like those yeah. babies where you put water in them and then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is Absolutely. crazy because we're just holes. <laughs> yeah. We're just holding it in. <laughs> we're just a bunch of twats. We're yeah. just full of Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hi guys. Hey. I actually um, define gravity at all points. I would love if a guy heard that like pull quote. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. 
You're like, oh shit, they said the thing we all thought. You <laughs> said it. Oh shit, they they know it. They, they know, know it. They, they know, know it the whole <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> They've always known. Yeah, we got it on a podcast. <laughs> I will say I am um, okay. This is going to be a little bit of a spoiler spoiler alert for Star Is Born. So if you haven't seen it, I apologize. It's past the. Yeah. You're I getting warning. Yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah. warning. It's skip fine. skip forward a minute. It's not that. big. I heard it before I saw the movie. Didn't read it. Yeah. Anyway, there's a scene where he, he pees himself on stage. I just did Jackson Maine for Stick or Treat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I can't believe I didn't fucking think about it. But Robert Dean was like, "Oh, are you so are you gonna like pee yourself?" And I was like, "Oh fuck!" And so I <laughs> was so mad I hadn't thought about it, and I was wearing black pants. Oh fuck! Hard to see. Yeah. It's hard to see. So I fucking I did it. Yeah. I I, I so. So what would your guys' solutions be to this? I would have like glass of water, turn around, do it, turn yeah. back around. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, like a bottle of water or something that you'd like with the like, top like barely on that you could like just oh, squeeze that's it good. up a yeah. couple of times. Come what out. do you think? I know, I'm the comedic. I might just g- roll lines. out there with like a... Oh, with a big stain on. Yeah. Piss. Or like a water balloon Pants. that you could like pop. Right. Water balloon would have been good. Yeah. So I had none of this. So I, so somebody was like, get oh, Caitlin Gill was uh-huh. like Capri Sun. Get oh. a Capri Sun. Oh, sticky. And I, I didn't think about the sticky part. She was like, get a Capri Sun. I was like, okay, I think, yeah, the strawberry could be a good device. So I went to 7-Eleven. I bought a Lunchable with a Capri Sun. And <laughs> this is great. <laughs> so I was sitting in the back of the Virgil eating Lunchable. <laughs> As Jackson Maine. As Jackson Maine. <laughs> with your I piss was, juice box. Because I was on at the end of the show. Yeah. So I was like sitting back there. And then what I ended up doing was I put a full water bottle upright in my pants. Okay. Because I was wearing a guitar so I could cover it. Oh, you could. Yeah. And so I could press the yeah water bottle so i went up there and i was doing my stupid fucking bit and so i pressed it and it just was like whoosh, it like squirted forward pretty much but also you couldn't fucking see it so like the people up front saw it and then i think everyone everyone else was like what is she doing because i was just leaning back and, like, <laughs> i wish there was a video of that. i think there is gonna be but i don't know if you're gonna be able to see yeah. any of that That's um, hilarious. it was really fun but it was like kind of a it was a funny like oh damn i wish i'd worn different color who was so I did I did it once like four years ago when I was Lewis Black yeah and um I just that's was a good like, one well I don't have a lot of range I was like I'm not you know I'd one and done for me <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's the only one yeah I could see you doing really good uh, getting the hands in there I, I mean I was just like Lewis. yelling a lot you yeah know? I did Cat Williams. <laughs> that is yeah. what did you do? I did the poor little tink tink joke. Yeah. Oh, which yeah, is yeah, like yeah, one of my yeah, favorite yeah. Williams jokes. Uh, but yeah, it was my favorite. One of it was really fun. The whole thing was really fun. But especially fun was making out with Sean wearing a beard. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. <laughs> and Kyle Kinane just kept looking at us like, what? Well, like <laughs> that is true love, uh, right? Yeah, that's, that's fun. Beautiful. Yeah, it was really fun to see how turned off every man, man was oh, that I knew when I had, yeah. the, I, I had the face and I look no one knew it was me also because I put the head really far I put yeah. the hat really far down on my head and I was like hey into the mic <laughs> I was just like hey hey and then afterwards my fucking friend Chase I was like he was like oh sorry I missed you I missed your set and he was like who did you do and I was like oh I did Jackson Maine he was like no someone else did that and I was like that was, was me. me it wasn't two people that's hilarious no. was like, wow no, two classic guy did. like no you can't possibly know what you're talking you about that. someone else did it yeah, yeah. no yeah. I, was, I was like no you're clearly dumbass, wrong dumbass it was me and also they make sure there's not two on the fucking show but it yeah, was just so. he didn't know it was me that was like oh that's God, crazy cool. that you didn't that's know so that funny. yeah I felt pretty good about it i'm gonna put it online when i get it but uh it was real dumb That's anyway great. pick classic if i could go back if i could reset the p system yeah i think i would do some kind of like a mm-hmm. maybe a hot one of those hot water bottle things with the straw oh, oh given infinite i thought we were talking last minute uh, no we That's are what, yeah we yeah, were yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'm saying like <laughs> if i could go back ideal, an ideal situation yeah. would be something like that yeah. you know for what sure. would be good is a camelback Oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah. But do those squirt out though? Because um, you have to like suction if them. If you take the thing off, because I actually <laughs> that happened to me. I was on a long <laughs> run <laughs> in Griffith Park, and I had my camel back on, and I was like hovering, you know, as I do, mm-hmm. over the toilet, and all of a sudden, yeah. I for a second thought I was pissing everywhere. Oh, no. and I was like, what the? F-? And like there was just liquid all over the place, and then I realized that the mouthpiece had come off my camel back, <laughs> oh. but I was caught with my pants down, just sputtering water everywhere. Great. Is yeah. Ha- terrible is it seeing a camelback not being used for running purposes oh my god what, what i've seen what people else? just wearing it like around oh. like walking and I'm oh like, no, I no, see. no 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 this yeah. is for an this is for an active an extreme flare. athlete 
Yeah. I assume that they're an alcoholic. I always assume that <laughs> I it's full too. of wine, right? I'm like, there's some... So yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're very it's also drunk just right gross. now. It's gross. Like the water yeah. doesn't taste it doesn't good. Taste good. It? It's like a it's, <laughs> it's like a last, no. yeah, last, it's last like, resort. It's for like I don't know, Camelback water is the same way you would use like earthquake food. Yeah, like yeah. for when you really exactly. need it. It's not refreshing. It no, no matter how much you use it, it tastes like plastic. Yeah. 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 I yeah. just get get out of here with your camel toe backs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That said, I did fill my camelback with La Croix. Oh, that, that sounds, sounds worse. That was nice, but I that shit like that shit nice loses uh, what bubbles in like a minute. It worked for me, <laughs> really. Yeah, I like the ingenuity. You truly. know what I mean? Yeah. Is that a word? Ingen- yeah, ingenuity. 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 It- ingenuity. <laughs> ingenuity should also be a word. Though. I'm an ingenue who only plays sweaty runners. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ingenue. <laughs> um, yeah, but that got rid of the plastic taste. Yeah. Boom. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah or alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, put a bunch of things yeah. in it. Alcohol could be a good way to cleanse any debris out of it. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Babs. I know how sticking to a weight loss plan can be super hard. Uh, Especially we don't know how to handle the thoughts, the daily triggers, you know, all the obstacles that sabotage your progress, not having accountability, kind of feeling like you're on your own. Well, let me tell you about Noom and how they can help you on your weight loss journey. Noom is not a lose weight fast plan. It is a lose weight for good plan. Noom is trying to set you up to recognize and change the habits that are blocking your success, which is really the key to long-term success with this kind of thing. You have to kind of attack your daily habits, learn how to rework them slowly. And that's what Noom does. They kind of like, you put, you do this online evaluation and you kind of like see the things that have worked for you in the past, seeing things that have failed for you in the past. And you kind of go from there and little by little change because that's how you get lasting change. It's not all going to do it overnight. It's going to take a little bit. But once you get into those healthy new habits, so much easier to get used to. And you're going to like doing them. You're not going to be mad about it. You're going to be excited to commit to your new habits. You know, we're all strapped for time. Noom just asks you to commit 10 minutes a day to you. And it's like in the palm of your hand. Literally, whenever you need it, you have someone to talk to. Someone for me personally, accountability is huge. I need that. If I'm going to stay on track, I need to tell somebody what's going on with me. Noom's right there in my pocket I can talk to my person you know my specialist and be like hey this is what I'm craving this is what's going on with me they'll talk back to me talk me through it give me some tips super helpful uh so what do you have to lose you know sign up today and start your trial at noom.com slash lady you can start the trial today go to noom.com slash lady start losing weight for good that's noom.com slash lady to start your trial and start seeing some life-changing results today Well, hello, everybody. If you are like me, Barbara, one of the hosts of this podcast, Lady to Lady, you want to learn how to invest and how to do it in an easy way. And have I got the app for you. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptos. You guys know how hot these cryptos are. Well, you can do it on Robinhood, and it's all commission-free. They are striving to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy, because let's be honest, this coinage, if you will, should be spread around amongst us. Why not us? Huh? Why not us? I say. Robinhood is also awesome because it's super easy to use. It's very clear. You can see charts and market data or data, if you will. Announce it to uh, pronounce it. Announce it two different ways. I believe it's the same word that means the same thing. But I really like it because I don't like apps that are very confusing and have a lot of crap going on. I like it. E- if I, if it is easy to use and simple to look at, I am 10,000 times more likely to use slash look at it, which is why I really like Robinhood. I go in there, check my stocks every day, feel like I'm a little stock person, trader, human being. Feels nice. Feels adult. Um and yeah, there's no commission fees, which is amazing. A lot of other brokerages charge up to 10 bucks for every trade. Robinhood doesn't charge commission fees. You can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. You can't see, but I'm making the money finger sign right now. Um, learn how to invest as you build your portfolio, discover new stocks, and track favorite companies with your personalized newsfeed. 
So right now, if you're interested, Robinhood is giving our listeners a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. That is correct. A free stock. That's pretty sweet. So you can sign up at ladytolady.robinhood.com. That's ladytolady.robinhood.com. Let's put some stock in your stock. Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. <laughs> and we're with Blair. I was just laughing at your water. That was like a cartoonish water noise. I know. I always have a large water bottle with me. Yeah. That's good. It's yeah, good. People, very people are always like, you love water, huh? I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You're I'm hydrated. Looking. Yeah. You got to take care of yourself. Your skin looks great. <sighs> Thank you very much. You're doing a great job. Oh, maybe lazy you to that. drink enough water. Yeah. Maybe you do need a camelback. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I choose this loaded large grenade instead. I'd rather just not have use of my left hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah always. How like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's play the MySpace game. Okay. Yes. Or did you have a MySpace? Um, MySpace? I don't. Th- I think I didn't have my own. I just like would look at others. Wait, what does oh, that okay. mean? You're a lurker. I was very into Instant Messenger, but let's oh, go back yeah. to the game. Yeah, Instant yeah, yeah. Instant Messenger. I'd yeah. write like, you know, the used lyrics. Oh, all like, your way mess- messages. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had a lot of RX Bandits as my, my old ones. Nobody knew what they were. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, so we're gonna do one. So, like people would do those MySpace surveys that were they would put on a bulletin. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ! Uh, so we're gonna do one of those with these random stupid yeah questions. This actually says your most overused phrase on Instant Messenger. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one of the questions. <laughs> oh cool, I like that. <laughs> going to ki- going to a kickback at Kyle's. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. <laughs> That's your Instant Messenger voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what any of my away messages were. Wait, what There's is a lot of lyrics? Can you, okay, here's a big one, guys. Can you roll your tongue in a circle? Of course. Mm-hmm. Oh, roll. I was thinking like this. <laughs> we all look so <laughs> ridiculous. I just licked Ooh. the mic too, but you were you were rolling. Are you it. talking about this? It must be that, right? Yeah. So, not every, not everybody so can do that. We all can. Oh, really? Oh my yeah. god! Do these tongue noises sound so? Nice? Wait, <laughs> so we're, I don't know how to explain what we're doing. It's making your tongue into a taco. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Taco. Yeah, it's like in the middle. It's not really a circle. Yeah. People can't do that. Thank God. Pass they first can't. question. Yeah. Where's the other one? There's another one too where you can like do like a little it makes your tongue a clamshell. Oh yeah. I can't do that. Those one. Oh, I can do that. Freaks. You can do that. I can't do that one. You guys can do that. Ah. <laughs> I, this must be entertaining for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara, you have a long tongue. Do I? Yeah, I think so. I Who has the longest? I tongue? keep licking the fucking mic. This oh, Blair's is, so is long too, though. Yeah, Blair's is a long tongue too. Oh, you're, but you're making the, you're making like a tongue, long tongue face with it. Well, yeah, I'm trying to accentuate. <laughs> what I, what I yeah, have. I'm trying to win, Barbara. We're trying to win. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, it's all we're we're all winners. I got fissures on my tongue. Which is not a bad thing, but it is those like creases. You know what oh yeah, about? everyone has those. I think I have like really deep ones though. Oh, oh wow, uh-huh. fissures. Uh-huh. Like just tire quick. tracks. Uh huh. I had tire tracks in my tongue. Oh, it's just a thing. I googled it like like a week ago to be like, is this okay? Okay, great. Yeah, tongue stuff gets like you're like, is this? N-? And it's all like pretty normal. But yeah, seeing something weird on there is creepy. Mm-hmm. I literally Google anything that happens on my <laughs> body, and I don't believe also when a doctor tells me. Me well, too. Like a yeah. year and a half ago, I thought I like had a bump, and I like went to the doctor, and I was like, "Is this herpes? Mm-hmm. Tell me." He's like, "It's not," and I was like, "Okay." And then the next day, I came back again. <laughs> And you're like, it is. I was like, no, I'm sure this is something fucked up. He's like, it's not. 
It's really, really. Not. There's so much like skin around the pussy is so annoying because it does like yeah. yeah, it does all this yeah. weird shit. And, and you're like, is this something? Is this something? And like, it's yeah. the, you're shaving it, and it's like weird mm-hmm. hair to be shaved. Like, I feel like yeah. the hair shaving situation really complicates things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've stopped wearing underwear so much. <laughs> you think that's helping? Yeah, it's refreshing. Okay. Yeah, I recommend. But then, it. doesn't don't all your pants just smell like your vagina? Um, I do. <laughs> 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 well, Barbara, I'm just gonna say it yeah. straight up. Yeah, what yeah, if yeah. you get like wet and shit? Yeah, if well, <laughs> um, if I get wet, I guess you don't wear a lot of pants. I don't wear a lot of pants. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, if it's a skirt, you can for sure not wear underwear. And I wear yeah, a lot yeah. of maxi. Oh my dresses. god! But then if you get wet on the skirt, then they'll see it. I mean, I'm not usually so, like, dri- it's, it's not, not usually not, like, dri- <laughs> water breaking. <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> peeing yourself, peeing yourself really scarred you. For um, I don't really like going without underwear because my thighs chafe a little bit, bit more when I don't. I've mm, noticed, yeah. but I do like it once in a while because it feels like ri- I like. It's, I, it's like a fun, like it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. a fun little secret, but I don't like doing it all the time. Yeah, I was like. Because I'm trying to wear not as many G strings, and, and Jen, my best friend, was like, "You gotta just stop wearing underwear." And at first, I resisted yeah. for the, all these reasons. But I'm wearing underwear like three times a week at this point. Wow! Yeah, oh, and, and okay. I love it. Wow, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I am stop wearing thongs all the time, which I've been wearing since I was like. 14 Same. in Orange County. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> like, I cannot California understand this. And now oh, I wear, well, uh-uh. yeah, well, I will dress like this my whole life, like a boy, basically, but in Orange County, you wore like the sluttiest yes. bikinis. Yes. <laughs> it was like the weirdest um, dichotomy in the world. Yeah. And now when I go back there and I see these 13 and 14 year old girls, with like nothing on their ass. I'm like, this is sick. These are children. <laughs> Why I did this. How I did this. You're part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. But literally now in my 30s is the first time that I have been wearing underwear with like a panty line. Same. Sometimes. Like in jeans. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Even. When you I don't know what they put in the water and but like when you're a child in SoCal, they're like, you gotta start wearing Are you bombs. from Orange County? I'm from Ventura County, it's a parallel universe. You have a little like I feel a little like kindred. I don't know. I get it. Yeah. yeah. Ventura County <laughs> Orange County were like very similar culturally. Sure. Like we like a platform yeah, flip flop. Like beach, oh beach. my god, I yeah. fuck with a platform hip flip flop. <laughs> I mean, beyond. I would. We need, I to, would get like some, we need to get some I pictures of both of you guys at like 12, 13, put them side by side. Yes. Terrifying. Yeah. Rocket dogs? Oh, oh for yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. I had the rainbow, the platform rainbow. Sandals. I loved those. Oh, shit. Yeah, I wish I had them now. They're cool. Those, those are definitely in style again. Yeah, they hurt your feet, but. <laughs> So yeah. cute. It is like a disturb like when when kids are like wearing hot stuff, I'm like, no, we everyone should have an awkward phase. This yeah. Is, oh, me I, yeah. I yeah. because Orange County's like that, like I famously wore like made my mom buy me bikinis before I had tits. <laughs> like so I was like full like a board, like wearing them, like a little chubby too. Yeah, yeah. And like wearing the these. toddler body body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used just to wear- thought I was like really sexy, like prepubescent child. <laughs> I think it's because it never gets cold enough to not dress slutty. Like there's no reason yeah, to cover up sense. ever. Or, or you're always like, going to the yeah, beach. Yeah, year round. Yeah. And I like if you have a really hot mom. <laughs> you have a hot mom. mom? Yeah, hot mom. I mean, devastatingly so. <laughs> <laughs> really, and like she's much smaller than I am too. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I was like bigger than her in like fourth grade. <laughs> Did you borrow her clothes a lot? Um, for a while, for like a very brief time period. Until you were like five, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and my mom, like God bless her soul. I mean, I think parenting's a bit different now, but like my mom's like, oh my God, I'm huge, <laughs> like yeah. you know. So I'm like, oh God. If you're big, yeah, probably. Yeah, I better start that shit reading never books. Never ends. I talk to my mom all the time about weight stuff, and it's she's like, yeah, I'm trying. And I'm like, oh my God, it never, it's never gonna yeah. go away. Is it? I'm doomed to yeah. think about this my entire fucking life. My mom still says yeah. shit like that. It's programmed though. Like, I someone came up to me the other day after one of my sets and is like, "Oh no, oh no." Yeah, they're like, "You can't say that stuff. Like, you're not big." 
Um, and I was like, but I was fat and had a hot mom. It was so. All, like I hate, it's so weird to me. It's like, well, this is my experience, and I'm yeah. talking about myself. Yeah. You literally can't tell me I can't talk about myself and my. It like, was yeah. another comic who was trying to, and it was is like a little older and was trying to be like benevolent. And I kind of heard what she was saying because also like I don't want like now that I'm getting older, I probably care about this shit more. But like if there was like a young girl, like in the audience listening to that, right, right. like I wouldn't want them to hear that. Honestly, I'll probably move away from that. Like after I am done with do something like album or yeah. like yeah, yeah, special yeah. or something and not talk about that shit, hopefully. Yeah. But it's like from the compilation of like my five and a half years you know i totally, totally. get that yeah I, a ton of weight jokes like and i just record an album and i kind of just i was like i'm gonna move back. i like talking about obviously like being a woman and having a yeah. body and whatever but i was like all right it's time to like move yeah it's crazy though because it is such like that it's a lot of those jokes were like written when i first started comedy and those are things that you're thinking about your entire life as sure. like being a woman yeah <laughs> but like now that i kind of move past all that stuff i'm like mm, i don't know yeah. yeah yeah i have never done like a ton of, i feel like anytime i i barely talk about my body at all because i just don't want people looking at my body while i'm doing stand-up yeah like yeah. i feel like i can feel like at the times i've even tried to do shit like that i can feel them being like uh, are you? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, but guess what? They're doing it anyway because yeah, that's what sure. they do. That's very yeah. true. It well, is so true. Cr- oh, go ahead. Oh, so I have like a joke on my album about getting a breast reduction that I made as grotesque as possible to rub it in their faces right. really fucking hard. It's just like, no, you're thinking about my tits right now and let me just set them literally on fire in a weird basement <laughs> of a hospital. I, I, I was shove it down doing a show last week and I had our Lady to Lady shirt on mm-hmm. and I just got up and I was like, uh, thanks everybody. I have a podcast. It's called Lady to Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I love wearing our merch. Oh yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty and I was just like and I was like, well, now you guys are looking at my tits. So I kind of like made and I was like, yeah. and now it's your fault. Like, well, I, whatever. I kind of like try to turn on them. Mm-hmm. But it is weird cuz yeah, when you feel like you're talking about it, they're judging you or if you do say anything about like how it's affected you in some way if you don't feel attractive or something, but if people mm-hmm. think that you are, or if they think that you can like easily date or get laid, yeah. they don't yeah, want to yeah, hear yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they For do not sure. want to hear that. Because yeah. they're like, no, 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 you don't have any problem with that. You look like this. You're and like, it's like, no, I did live through that. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. is funny. Mm-hmm. I went to, I was at the, um, I was at the fucking uh, sci fi, what the fuck is it called? Comic Con. Comic Con. Yeah. Like, uh, this past weekend because I was doing a show. And so I was just kind of like wandering around. I was like, I'm going to go into this panel called Dating for Geeks. <laughs> I was like, oh my oh, God. I'm I was like, I really want to see what the fuck this is. Although people get freaky at those cons. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like geeks are always fucking. Oh, yeah. yeah of they course. For sure are. But it was just, I just really, it was funny. <laughs> Blair's face was awesome. Everyone's cosplaying. I was just super like, hot. whoa, like, who are the people that sign up for that? <laughs> well, yeah. oh my God, everything. it was so funny. So we, so I walked in and like, um, it was funny too, because every other show or whatever had like an hour blocked out and this had yeah. like three and we're like, oh, that's <laughs> like, they need, oh. they need a little bit longer than icebreakers. <laughs> we got to run some scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> These geeks love to yap. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so you know it was like a panel of people actually Ron Swallow was on the panel with his mm-hmm. girlfriend and like uh, it was like a few geek couples and then these two like super hot women yeah. who are like geeks I guess and whatever and it was just funny because the women were talking about it and I was like I think you guys might have a little bit of a different problem than this audience uh, yeah. <laughs> which was a bunch of real yes. nerdy dudes you yes. know Absolutely. who did not look like those women did yeah no wonder and, it was full yeah but <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly but again I don't want to judge because that's their experience obviously, yeah, 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 but yeah. it was just like the way they were talking about it, it's like like anything like if I mm-hmm. go on Tinder I have to like sift through dudes yeah. but they don't have that issue usually because it's not as good for, you well, know but also if you're a super hot geek girl like like, number one, you're being invalidated because nobody thinks you're actually a geek. Yes. So none of like, so you're, there's a lot of rage coming at you from a bunch of different person, directions. You're Brandy. Yeah. Yeah. Who <laughs> knows that I'm just like <laughs> finding the empathy in the situation. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but it was so funny because I was sitting right behind a guy in a fucking Riddler costume. <laughs> oh my oh God. My God. Wait, oh which, my which God. Which genre of Riddler? Um, I, what was it? It was like maybe Jim, it was Jim Carrey. That's Riddler? the only one yeah, yeah, I Jim know. Yeah, Jim Carrey Riddler. And there's like I, the there old, one in Suicide Squad? 
I don't it know. It was definitely Jim Carrey or like young. It was like old school Riddler. Outfit. Oh, okay. It's like the little bowler and everything. Yeah, it was the oh, bowler yeah, yeah. hat and stuff. Yeah, it's and, the Adam and, like, and like the cane with a question mark on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so he kept like tapping his cane and being oh. like, yup. Yup. And like, <laughs> he was verbally saying, yup. <laughs> Agree oh, with something my said. God. Oh, my God. And it was so funny because they were talking about the like love languages, five love languages. Oh, and we were God. like, oh, what's his? Riddles? Oh, God. <laughs> Riddle me this. It is crazy, though. Like, I still do this. Like, if I see a conventionally hot dude go on stage, I immediately in my head, I'm like, he's not funny. Yeah. They yeah, have yeah. to, and even though I know better, and now also, I'm like, trying to get self-esteem is mm-hmm. like a, a major, it's like my main <laughs> goal I'm trying to do. That was your, yeah. that was your uh, resolution this year? Yeah. Um, Cause I just like had a birthday. Well, I've been working on it and I was like, I'm gonna try and like, feel, not that I don't feel like, mm-hmm. attractive, but it's something I really early on just kind of like was well, just like oh I'm not gonna like focus on that yeah um but now I'm just like I'm just gonna like embrace everything about myself yeah 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 so I've been like kind of an Instagram thought lately nice do <laughs> yeah. it it feels good I, I like I, do, I like doing that I want to get thoughtier and like I feel like I have the sort of the opposite problem where I did just say fuck it and sometimes I'm like you could like it wouldn't kill you to try a little bit on Instagram like you didn't need to post that you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no. You could have just posted I love nothing. Falling. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? I just don't post pictures where I don't look that good. Oh, I just don't, oh like, whatever. I, like, I, I, yeah. I don't know. If th- it's literally just pictures. I mean, that's good. I mean, but that's like, the reality, though. You tra- yeah. show the range, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. I guess. So it's the reality. Not, it's not anything. It just didn't, no one needed to see me eating poke. <laughs> like, I mean, I, but that's, that's all. Inst- Instagram could be that's summed up in no one needed to see anyone eating poke. Yeah. Like, that's, that's Instagram. True. But it's uh, here for Fair. dumb shit. Who cares? You know? Yeah. Well, I said that I told my friend, I was like, yeah, I'm like an Instagram thought now. She's like, you, <laughs> you posted one picture in a crop top, bitch. <laughs> I know. I love that. Like, you have a long way to go. I know. It's funny because, like, yeah, I post them, like, once in a while. And then I, like, I do, you feel a little weird about it. But then you, like, look at it and you're like, I'm fine. Like, other people are posting this shit all day, every day. Vulnerability, though, to post a slutty picture of yourself and then wait for Mm. those likes to come in. Well, New York, like, has a more stigma than here. Like, there's, like, such a, the... Well, there probably is here. I just don't interact with them. But, like, yeah. the club scene in New York, like, many of the guys, like, in the class above me, like, famously say, like, you're not a real comedian if you post hot pictures of yourself. <laughs> um, Fuck you. Yeah, and it's like, well, actually, <laughs> maybe I try to do other shit than just do, like, yeah. six club sets Um a night until yeah. I die with three roommates. <laughs> uh, I boom, boom, see them boom, in the group and be like, "Yeah, bro, she, you're not, not a real comedian coming. if you." <laughs> yeah, like, they just off. can't handle Wait, that you have yeah. a power. Never mind the fact that we live yeah. in a world where women are programmed from the time we're three fucking years old. <laughs> I know, pretty pretty princesses. We yeah. didn't have any other fucking option but to try to be hot on Instagram. Well, like, I learned this truly from Sydney Washington and Marie Faustin, like two of my friends from New York, and they're like these model hot. Yeah. Black women, like best friends that do so many. Th- and like, they're just truly fabulous, like, always incredible looks all the time. Mm-hmm. And they're both very funny. And from the start, people were like, what? Like, yeah. who are these people? And then they're just like unapologetic about everything. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. learned that. I, I would like, it. yeah, that's like, yeah. that's like who I yearn to be. So, but so much. It's hard to pull off, but I think once you start doing it, people don't give a shit because they're like, oh, that's just you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't have, honestly, I love being hot. And like when I. <laughs> <laughs> We're all holes. We're all holes. We're all hot holes. We're all hot holes. I love it. Hot holes. We're hot holes is like. Oh, God. I'm imagining holes dressed up. Like flaming hot Cheeto holes. What? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, That's what I was picturing. (laughs) Uh. (laughs) But I do. I really love like I'll either go into full drag or nothing at all. Because yeah. really, I think a lot of it is, like, a time issue mm-hmm. for me. I'm lazy. Yeah. I don't, like, really yeah. wear. I'm in between. I mean, my makeup takes five minutes to do. Yeah. And that's I the mean, same. Every, every it, Barely a difference if I'm going on a date or something. I mean, like. I have a hot sister, and she probably spends, 
I want to say average getting ready time. We're looking at like five hours. Oh my Fuck. god! I mean, it, 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 like you have got to know. So that, she time. enjoys it at that point. That's Loves like it. artistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel upset. Like if I take a shower at night <laughs> and then have to put makeup on Again. after I shower. I'll do yeah, that too. I for plan sure. my exercise around only having to wear makeup once. Oh yeah. my god! I'm just imagining making myself have to get ready for five hours. Like I don't know what I would do. I spent twenty minutes and I just check my phone for four and hours. Yeah. Yeah, it'd like, be funny is to it just try like and make yourself go straightening your hair my bit hair by bit. One time kind of. this year, yeah. and it was like two weeks ago when I did my hour, and literally I looked like I was in fucking white snake. I was like, "This is why I have air dry yeah. my hair for like my whole life." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck. What was I gonna say? I don't know. We gotta. Get, we'll be back. All right. <laughs> Hey, if you have listened to Lady to Lady for any amount of time, you've probably heard us talk about Third Love and the bras that they sell. Third Love is this amazing company that designs their bras with breast shape and size in mind for this amazing feel and incredible fit. Uh, You know, a lot of times people actually we had someone to message us recently who was like, do you actually wear these bras? And I was like, a thousand percent. Yes, I love my third love bras. I wear them all the time. We've talked about how they're kind of like, they're not quite a push up, but they aren't just like a, you know, like an underwire. I don't know. It's just amazing in between and they are made out of this amazing foam that's super comfortable. It makes your boobies look great. I love how to see how it, they look different under shirts or whatever, undershirt what, with shirts on them. You guys get it. Uh, it's really cool because you do a fit finder quiz on their website. So you go answer a few simple questions to find your perfect fit. They've had over 10 million women take the quiz to date. It's really fun. Takes less than a minute to complete. And breast shape actually really does matter. That's one thing that a lot of bra companies are not taking into account. And Third Love really does. They af- they offer double the number of sizes that most other brands offer. I don't know why people haven't gotten hip to this yet, that there's lots of different kinds of boobies. But Third Love gets it. There's a 100% fit guarantee. Their team of expert fit stylists are dedicated to helping you find your perfect fit. And if you don't love their product, you can return and exchange it for free. They have a new cotton collection and they they realize their customers are asking for it. And now they have cotton t-shirt bras and cotton underwear. They, they've got everything. Go on there, take the quiz. You will not be sorry. I absolutely love my Third Love bras, and I know that Brandy and Tess do as well. Third Love knows that there is a perfect bra for everyone, so right now they are offering our listeners 15% off their first order of Third Love. So go to thirdlove.com slash lady now to find your perfect fitting bra and get 15% off your first purchase. That's thirdlove.com slash lady for 15% off today. Hey, y'all, if you love Lady to Lady, you will love the podcast, The Unofficial Expert. It's a sex and dating podcast on the Forever Dog Network with hosts Sydney Washington and Marie Faustin. And they sit down with your favorite comedians who claim to be experts in specific sex and dating fields, you know, fields like flirting or porn or daddy issues, online dating, uh, cookouts, sex toys, runaway brides, just to name a few. Sydney Marie make the final decision on their guests' expertise and decide whether or not to crown them an unofficial expert. They are unapologetic, exciting, and incredibly funny hosts, and you need to get to know them and their hilarious, honest comedy ASAP. So subscribe to The Unofficial Expert right now at Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. They have new episodes every Friday. Check them out. Guys, we're back. I'm, <laughs> I'm Brandy. I'm Babs. We're at Billy Saki. Hey, yeah. and uh, we've doing we we've doing a lady problem. <laughs> these holes our, have some advice holes, for you. <laughs> <laughs> these holes got goals, and that's to give you some advice. Hot <laughs> holes. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say I forgot. I was gonna say this. So the last like thought picture I posted thirst trap. Mm-hmm. This this is what one guy responded. The guys it's always funny to like cuz a guy when a guy needs to respond yes. and they're like okay I got to say something, you know. Yeah, yeah. And sorry, didn't hear what you said. I was distracted by those nice round dot 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 <laughs> glasses. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh With my god. Five smiley laughing faces. <laughs> Oh my god! And then I love your comment. This comment is boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that to him. Really Do you know the guy? No, I don't know. Him. Oh Amanda. my god! That's even better. It's That's a really funny. Ra- it's a for a radio station. Who That's are the men that like respond me. on Twitter and like 
like there's people in my DMs who I have never responded to. Yeah, yeah. I told a guy recently. I was like, because I somehow had accepted, and he wasn't creepy, but he just responded yeah. to everything I wrote. And I said, "Hey, you know what? Like, you're you seem nice, but I lo- it kind of creeps me out how much you respond <laughs> yeah, to me, and I don't want to have to block you." Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I just block. Yeah, I just I said, love. I like. He seemed yeah. like a nice, like a fine dude. I was uh-huh. just like, but stop fucking responding to every story I put up. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe it's because I'm just gonna posit that like these people, they don't, they're not good at like doing that in real life. Mm-hmm. So on right. Twitter, where they think they can come up with this like witty response, they're just really milking it for all that they can. Oh my god, I am truly like these people though. But to my friends, like I respond to everyone's Instagram stories, and maybe it's because like I don't see go see my friends enough in person. So you're yeah. like talking to them. I Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. No, We're no, no. friends. You're fine. If you have a relationship outside of the internet, yeah. For Do you sure. expect a response from your response? Um, I don't know. I guess I've never. Re- maybe not. But I get. Yeah, really it's do. just like I get genuinely excited about what yeah. <laughs> my friends are posting. Totally. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, whoa, that's fucking cool. Oh, my God. I s- you did go to the doctor. Whoa. And they're like, all right, Blair. <laughs> Use that insurance, girl. One time I posted that, though, and then a lot of people were like, oh, my God, I thought, like, I was the only one you did that with. And I'm like, I'm really sorry. Ooh. It's fun. Whatever. I, like I do. People. When I, I feel like I always try to, like, when one of my girlfriends looks really good, I always, like, try to throw them, like, a flame emoji mm-hmm. or, like, a gorgeous. Like, yeah. I, I, I just like telling my friends they look hot on Me Instagram. too. I want to compliment. Yeah. What is a way for a guy to be able to do that without being creepy? There is. Guys do it a lot. Oh. I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of, like, <laughs> if, if, if we have guy friends, guys that are listening that are, like, I genuinely want to compliment you. Because I could see a guy being, like... I don't know what to do, but I do want to say you look good. I think just a like. A like is a fine. Like, like, yeah. You don't really have I to like, say yeah. Oh, I would okay. love a comment. Okay, so. You would? Yeah, like you look pretty or you look hot. Or From one of your guy friends? Yeah, as so long as Dave it's Child, like not Dave Child wrote me. fire emojis. He wrote okay. the word. I like that. Fire emoji. I that's think nice. fire emoji is good. Fire emoji yeah, like gets everything yeah. across. Yeah. yeah. I don't that's like good. if they, uh, not if they have a girlfriend though. No. I never no. want you know to offend I mean? the, girl, or the girlfriend or wife. Uh, if you have a girlfriend yeah. or wife, don't write any of those comments on people. Mm-hmm. That can just be a like. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 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 But I, I don't even, like, would you care if your husband liked your friend's bikini pics? Yes. Not really. I would. I don't have really? a husband, but I would. I don't think Brendan would. If I noticed I that they had liked every hair. single one of if them. I know, yeah, if I well, noticed yeah, there yeah, was like a, a bunch, but I also know like how much our monkey brains work on it. I'm sure I've liked like, yeah, you know, pictures of, I follow the magic Mike cast on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I yeah like, but I is he like following every... anything like that? That's the thing. Oh, and if I found out he was, I. He was See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not the. That's just the double standard that he's going to have to live with. <laughs> um, okay, let's do this lady okay. problem. If you have one, send it to us at lady to lady comedy at gmail.com. Lady, lady problems, lady, lady problems, lady, lady problems. Do you have them? Some people have them. Okay. All right. Hey, ladies. I work in real estate in an administrative <laughs> capacity on a small team of five, three salespersons, and two admin. So that, that's what the team is. Um, I got along well with the woman who was in the admin role when I started, but she left in January. And in April, we finally hired someone new to take her place. So new person in the office. Um, new to our office, but not new to real estate, although she's a few years younger than I am. This new person is a nightmare. Aside from being driven crazy by the fact that she calls everyone love and hun, despite having <laughs> zero relationship with them, I feel like she's constantly undermining me in really uh, passive-aggressive ways. In meetings with some, uh, when someone will ask me to do something, she'll often pipe up with her concern that I may have too much on my plate, which I'm fully capable of assessing on my own, and I'm not shy about letting people know when I can't handle something. She's constantly talking over me, speaking for me, and otherwise overseeing my work. I get the feeling that she doesn't respect me at all despite my having um the institutional i, I think knowledge that sentence cut off um i have confirmed to my boss that her, that her position didn't somehow become a managerial position over mine and his latest is that we quote need to be adults and get along the team has been a very tight-knit group up to this point so the fact that the two of us just aren't jiving is obvious and problematic i am only planning to be at this job for another year i'm applying for business school beginning next fall but i need to make this work until then what do i do mm. Another year is probably just a suck it up situation. Yeah, if you know you have an end date, 
Yeah. Just Yeah, you have an end date and also you need to not make it uncomfortable for everyone in the office. But I also think if mm-hmm. you're like casual and not fucking crazy about it, you could just a- address her directly and say, Hey, um, yeah. I don't like when you can you not can you let me speak for myself? Yeah. Something not abrasive. Yeah. But just like direct. Yeah, well, I, think, I bet she'd get scared and not do it anymore. Yeah, I well, totally agree. Well, yeah, in that situation, you can be like, "Oh, actually, no, I can handle that," and you know, I can, I can answer that question for myself. And I think there's a way to do that and not like, yeah, be a jerk about it. Yeah, I not mean, rude. I feel like yeah. if you, yeah, if you a ask her if you guys can have a conversation, that's already terrifying. Yeah, yeah. And then you have like a one-on-one mm-hmm. conversation with her. She's not gonna say shit to you this year. Yeah. Like if someone said that to me, I would. Yeah pipe down back off completely yeah. yeah i'm just yeah the to me like the reality of me actually having that conversation would probably never happen sure. so i would just be like well here's another year uh, or i would in in the meeting figure out hopefully yeah. a way to like yeah i think in a situation like that then it's a good way to kind of publicly like put her in her place but like yeah. not in an aggressive way yeah um i don't know where she's from i will say i call people hunt all the time because i think it's like a very like it, it's a good like uh it just chills me out. It's a good way to like say, it's an affectionate way yeah. to also like say hi to somebody. I do it to strangers all the time too. Cause it is also, especially guys. I love saying hi to guys. Yeah. I think yeah. it's just like, a, I think it's just yeah. a I love that. Yeah. I go, Hey hon, how you doing? Some people by the way. get really offended by it. Like, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't really like endeared to it. Yeah. yeah, but like if someone you know is being actively malevolent by yeah, like yeah. Will's still using the word, you're like, okay, bitch, yeah, drop yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I also like if you know you're gonna be out of this job in like a year or so, don't let the job mean too much to you. You know, I think yeah. it's like, okay to be like, I'm gonna do a good job here, but also. All right. Get I mean, it though. I mean, I'm, I know, I know. That that's definitely like a hot button thing for me. Like, if I mm-hmm. feel like someone is condescending me, I'm a yeah. nice person, but I will turn into a twat real yeah. fast. So, yeah. like, a year actually is a long time if you're about to be a twat. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I I don't know. I think just a private conversation with her. Also, your boss is being a bad boss because yeah. it's not his yeah, job. Let everyone just be adults and get along. It's like no. a fucking solve you. something. You're a man. Yeah. You're you're in the managerial position. Like, you're a boss. It's your job to be like, hey, there's an issue here. Let's have a conversation, and then. You know, I kind of don't think she should have gone to the boss. Yeah. I think she should have gone directly. Oh, sorry mm-hmm. if you're listening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she probably is. She probably is. <laughs> well, just tell her if you can. <laughs> you're yeah. telling her right now. Yeah. I mean, tell the woman directly. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's always better to like go one to one, I think, because like if you bring in somebody else and I think it gets a little narky. You know. Yeah, but also I, I understand the instinct because yeah, she, for sure. this woman's acting like her boss. So yeah, the only way I mean, to prove you, that she's not the boss is go to the above boss. Totally. It's always better to have someone else mediate it and have not come straight from you. But if he's not yeah. doing it, then yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, then, now we said oh, the logical sorry. things to do, but what yeah. are the fucked up shit she could do to her? I was going to say, I was going to say, like, after you say something to her, maybe you could make a genuine, do something genuinely nice for her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's okay. I don't think it's a bad idea to reset. To be like, like an hey. olive branch. Yeah, not in like a shitty, passive-aggressive no. way, but just like, hey, I want to be cool. Yeah. You could bring her something. Like, Buy hey, her some Starbucks. Let's, yeah. Have a yeah. re- let's have a reset thing. Like, because I, I also could have seen like, if she is this kind of a type A person, I could see her kind of coming in very hot and like being so it like. it sounds like what happened. Yeah. Here. Like, I don't think it's a personal <laughs> thing against you. And that's hard to deal with sometimes but i do i think it's like i could see her coming in and being like well i want to prove myself on the team and that means that she overstepped bounds i think if you were like hey let's have a reset let's go for coffee talk about not work and just like try to try to reset it from there yeah and she's gonna spend a lot of time together some people like that are actually really cool outside of work for sure like i used to have this boss at the bar that i worked at that Mm -hmm. i mean she had a cocaine problem but she (laughs) was like the meanest lady like i remember one time i was at planned parenthood with like a pussy scare and i was late for my shift because of it she broke me up a whole whole scare i had a whole scare scare. but then like when i would drink with her after work i loved her it was just like wow we were working she's, she so she's just not very nice sober yeah, yeah. i think that was it yeah. yeah for sure so maybe just don't be sober around her no i don't know <laughs> um but yeah i mean so maybe, but maybe if you do yeah do something sort of social with her then that would also like smooth over some of the edges too yeah. you're gonna say like yeah i was at the boss of cocaine and like 
I don't know. Like an hour later, she'd just be so happy. I kind of was. <laughs> or conversely, put cocaine in this woman's car and get her arrested. <laughs> yes. there you go. That's how you get rid of her. <laughs> Expensive but fun. Yeah, there yeah. you go. There's a prank, right? Give someone a then felony. How, how, how are you getting the cops involved here? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, you have to get them to drive and bust one of their tail lights. Yeah, there you go. And then just pour cocaine on her desk. Yeah. <laughs> Big old mountain. Oh, uh, it's just a pile of cocaine <laughs> on my desk. You're fired. She said she wasn't being the boss, but yeah. <laughs> I would also. I mean, also, mm-hmm. this is not de-escalating anything. But I'm a. I think I like to be CC'd on everything. I think yeah. make sure that you're CCing everyone on everything so that everyone's seeing how she's treating you. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. That's kind of a practical. Mm. Mm-hmm. It sounds like she's doing it verbally more. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that's good too. Undermining her in really passive aggressive ways. I would literally just real quick right after the meeting be like, hey, let me talk for myself. Yeah. From now on. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. (laughs) So it's like, yeah, we, it's interesting because we don't deal with Mm -hmm. these issues that much because we don't work in like regular, you know, office situations. I know. When my dog tries to condescend, (laughs) I'm like, you're eating your own butthole. (laughs) There's a lot of mental. Did you see that cat on the catwalk? No. Oh God! I gotta show you this video. There's like a, it's a fashion show, yeah. and there's a cat that just starts licking its butt on the, and like, <laughs> that's and then, hilarious. It's so great. And oh, then one gross. of the women walks past it, and it tries to grab her dress. And <laughs> like, it's so cute. Good cat. Good cat. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think you're tight with other people in the team, but here's something that you could do. Um, I talk know, shit about her endlessly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Other than that. Other than that. Other than that. I know in um. Oh, uh, when Obama was president, <laughs> um, they used to do a thing where, because he had a lot of women on his team, and they realized that women were being talked over a lot. So what they would do is like a lot of they would talk to the guys, and they would be like, "If you hear a woman talking, and like, because a, a lot what happens is like you make a point, and then a guy would repeat your same fucking point. Yeah, um, it was like up to you to be like more aware of the conversation to be like, oh, actually, blah blah blah, made that point. Um, what do you have anything to add to that? Like, oh, I love that. And redirecting back to her. So if you have somebody on the team that has your back, you can be like, oh, that's good. Whenever idea. you see her like cut me out like that, can you be like, hey, what do you think about that? Mm-hmm. Like, come back to you. That's mm-hmm. a good call. That is yeah. good. Yeah. So. Oh my god, I was. This is also shit on her desk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then put cocaine on it. Yeah. 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 Shit cocaine. I. Oh my go. god. This. I can't believe this is <laughs> such a fucking perfect example of everything recently. I was uh, at a bar Mm -hmm. chatting with some male comics, not people I know that well, but we were all there for like a birthday thing. And they were arguing Mm -hmm. over if women are better represented in comedy now. Uh And guess who had a real hard time getting a word in edgewise? Of course. (laughs) Hilarious. Oh, yeah, that's everything. That's (laughs) all of it. I've been there. I kept being like, well, you know, and they were like, well, well, I mean, it can't be that bad. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> like, ah, one of them kept insisting that Chicago. I not. I don't know how Chicago scene is. Yeah. One. There. One of them lives in Chicago. One of them's from there. Uh-huh. The guy who lives there was was amazing. Was like yeah. talking about how it's not that great and mm-hmm. all this stuff. And the other guy was like, "I was just there. It was fine. There were women on all my shows. I, it was like he was. I was there for a week. And like, <laughs> it was just like. And it's I literally kept everything. trying to interject, and they talked over me yeah. like, the whole yeah. time. And I was just like. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, for sure. Just like no awareness. It was zero. Even the yeah. guy who like was on the right side of it. Yeah. yeah. Zero awareness. See, that's the thing that I feel like even with like the signal boosting thing, mm-hmm. it's like you do need to have one person that for sure gets it because yeah. if no one in the room gets it, gets it, then yeah. we're just back to square one. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Then what's yeah. the point? Then you're just talking to yourself. Yeah. 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 I've had so, I mean, just uh, like a decade of just male comics, like explaining to me what it's like to be a female comic or like, oh, what? yeah. <laughs> I had a man. I had a situation in a green room like two months ago. It was so funny. I walked in and there was a a a, a guy comic that I've known for a while sitting there. I walk in and he goes, "Oh hey Brandy, how's Brendan doing?" I had not seen this guy in six months, <laughs> and his first question was, "Hey, how's your boyfriend?" <laughs> It was like, like, hey, what's going on? I mean, yeah. I think that's like a tick of like no, but it's also like I never but remember I'm, a fact. But, but I'm it's yeah. like annoying. Right. But I'm here, and I and I, I went. He's fine. I am also fine. And the one in the room, <laughs> and he was like, oh, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. I just I thought of him when I saw you, and I was like, I understand that. He's fine. But can you see why that's annoying? Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. And he like, I mean, I think he had a moment. Who who knows? I think I'm a bitch. I don't really care. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they should all be scared of me. <laughs> 
gives yeah, a fuck. Yeah, exactly. That's the goal. Yeah, I'm funny and be scared of me. That's all I want. <laughs> mm-hmm. Respect my craft and don't make eye contact. <laughs> my craft. My craft. <laughs> my craft. Respect my craft. Of orange juice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Beat you with a carafe. Um, so we yeah. solved it, right? Yeah, I think so. I think we got that yeah. one. Yeah, good luck. Um, yeah. Also, you're going to be back in college. You're going to go back to college soon, too, and um, your job is in your life. You yeah, you yeah. The year, the year laid. out is yeah. thank God. Yes, and also this is great training for all the other fucking yeah passive aggressive dicks you're gonna run yeah. into. Everyone's <laughs> shitty all the time. Um, <laughs> find ways that you are morally better than them, and then think of those before you sleep at night, and Ooh. let them fuel you. And then that's when you go to sleep in on darkness, and don't. That's why you have a fantasia. <laughs> yeah, that's why <what laughs> is, everything is black when you go to sleep. <laughs> it's just running too many lists at once that it's just turned into black. <laughs> Here are all of the ways that I'm better than everybody. Passive aggressiveness is a real bitch because it makes yeah. you passive aggressive. Oh, yes. You know, it really feeds mm. itself and I hate it because it's For like, sure. in my heart, I don't want to be that person. No. I want to be a very yeah. honest, open person, but oh. it's just so difficult it's to hard. do with a super passive aggressive person. Yeah. And it's kind of like road rage where it's a little bit fun. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, it's, like, it's fun oh, to like, like bitch oh, bitch, you want to play? Yeah. Okay. It's a cold war. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. It's a cold I, war. <laughs> it's, mine has been coming out, I guess, just because of the traffic is more insane here. But mm-hmm. I'm going, you know, doing a little bit of self-healing lately. And so I'm having this idea that, like, whatever we're supposed to heal is, like, being presented to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, God damn. I'm like, I need to be more patient. And then, like, all this like every time I drive, I'm like, "What the fuck is going on? Have you ever driven before?" <laughs> oh man, I'm a psychopath. Yeah, when I drive, I've never had it before. I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's something else I need to address. But we all have it. Yeah. Can, yeah. I, t- can I tell you what's made it a lot better for me, at least? Yes. Recognizing that when I put on my GPS, the time that it says that I will get there is what time I will get there. Right. If I bust ass and I am a monster on the road and I can I'm a really fucking good driver I can beat that by maybe four minutes yeah it's never and like it's never worth it, worth it. It's and it's it's, it's it. always just like alright well that's what time I'm gonna get there but that's beautiful life just about banging yeah. against the feudal things <laughs> I mean not mine <laughs> no, but I, it's like, not, yeah I know but fuck yeah, I mean, I have, I have those things in my life. I just choose not to make that one of them. People are scary, too. Like, I was... For sure. Last week when I was leaving here, I, like, was up at the light, and the guy didn't go at green. I did yeah. a little... Ha- nothing, like, aggressive. I was oh, just, yeah, like... Because yeah. he waited a while. Everyone's yeah. on their phone. I yeah, see everyone's it. on their yeah. phone. That's also huge. And so he fucking goes. Yeah. He, he's pissed of or course. something. And he, like, does some weird swerve into the next lane. And he threw a bunch of garbage out of his fucking window. <laughs> oh, the fucking loser. I was like, you're a psycho. What a fucking loser. <laughs> what a fucking... That's gross. Yeah. yeah. It was just crazy. I was like, all yeah. right, dude. The I, phone thing's gnarly. I keep yeah. feeling people going like horizontally. It's really crazy. It's bad. into yeah. my yeah. L- lane. And I'm like, what are you doing, bitch? You're in two yeah. tons of metal. Pay attention. That, yeah. That's been like a big thing for me. I, yeah. I'm really trying to not use my phone when I drive. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. like a habit yeah, that I've sure. really been trying to break myself up. Mm-hmm. And I can't stand when I'm in someone else's car and they're on their phone. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's really oh. scary. I don't uh-huh. like that either. Yeah. Get the little holster. Throw your phone there and look at the GPS and that's it. I feel yeah. really imprisoned to my phone um, just in general lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, I just fantasize about not having social media at all. I'm like, what would the fuck would I think about? What would I, who would, I, what would I do? I delete them off a lot. I'll go through like a week or two where it's just nothing on my phone. I, Instagram I keep on, but I usually keep it on black and white and it's like less. This honestly has been less. like a godsend because I had to get a new phone and I just didn't install like a bunch. I didn't That's like nice. sign up to a bunch. Of, I was like, oh, I just, I'm not going to do it. Do you not have Twitter on there? I have Twitter, but I don't have the notifications anymore. Oh, so I don't all. get it when people like. Yeah. I nice. used to have all that. Stuff. Oh, really? I don't have any of those notifications, and I'm still that fucking screen time. Yeah. Notification ruined my life. <laughs> yeah, that was a bummer. <laughs> I was time. like, "That's fucking new." I always tells you how much you're on your phone. Yeah. Oh, I haven't. You'll I haven't get it. To that. Yeah. You'll get it. It it'll, just, it'll it just sends you know. it to you. It just came up. Yeah. <laughs> without, <laughs> and I, the only thing I can't get rid of is these fucking, no. these fucking clickbait news alerts. I, I know. That are yeah, the worst. I can't like, turn them off. A 97-year-old woman like woke up from death. What is, what's the first thing she said? And you're like, go away. Yeah. I'm on a hike. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I, in this moment, I don't care. Yeah, trust me to find it. I will find the bad news. Well, I will always find the bad news. I saw news. someone don't worry. write like a comedian is like, "Hey, I'm going off um, all social media for two months because I'm writing. I have a book deadline." Yeah, and I was like, "I want to do that. I have a script draft 
Yeah. And then I was like, how will no one will come to my show if I don't <laughs> promote? That's the way I feel That's captured problem. too. Like if it wasn't for like yeah, comedy yeah, promoting comedy. and booking shit, I would have yeah. deleted it years ago. Yeah. But I, I can't know. really do it totally a la carte. Like as much as I, I love Twitter and I love Instagram and I like my monkey brain just can't stop looking at them. Yeah. Like I wish I would just go on, come to my show tonight and then get off. I think it's all fine as long as you're not getting sucked into the Facebook comment threads. I it's, don't get as long Facebook as you're not threads. there. That's fine. Yeah. Really? I think it's not fine. I feel mentally. It's changed my like. It's definitely changed my well being to not being on there. That has helped. That's a big step. Twitter is a big one for me, especially in these times. Like it really. Twitter is huge. God, but I like a fucking nightmare. I I love (laughs) it too. I don't even go on Facebook besides like to post a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Twitter, that I mean, like that's if I'm not actively doing something, I'm on Twitter. Me too. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm never on there. Just make sure you follow a couple of dogs. On Twitter, yeah, I have thoughts of dog. Follow follow Gritty too. He's great. That's really I good. have decided. Gritty's I like have a good uh, people. Two, yes. yeah, I'm like yeah, only yeah. following people that make me feel positive. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, really? But it doesn't matter. The algorithm doesn't give a fuck about that. It'll show me anything it wants. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got like oh man, I got like you know all these journalists tweeting about Russia. I got like all oh, kinds, yeah. of, oh, all yeah. kinds, of, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. You like the chaos. I like kind of. Yeah. I just have always really like. I get obsessed with the news. I've always been like that. Like I went through two years where I didn't yeah. read any news. Yeah. Yeah. And that was nice. Mm-hmm. You can't That's live like that. Louise no, you can't. Says. Not anymore, especially. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like choosing when to be like, I have the time for it now or yeah. not. You know, it's, it's just hard. weird to dip your toe into like the apocalypse, yeah. basically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for sure. And it's like, all I have to do is turn this off and I'm just living in the world. Yeah. yeah. It's like, everything's terrible. Oh yeah. my God. It's so weird. Yeah. I, um, just, I just had a therapist one time that was like, when you spend t- all this time reading it, are you helping? No, of course not. And like that really for me was like, yeah, I'm not. All I'm doing is just like stewing in my own You're like shit. In, maybe yeah. informing yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like once you've read, read one thing, you're like, yeah. okay, I have the facts. I don't need to read all of it. I don't need to read all of it. Yeah. yeah. But you're looking for like maybe something else, but it's like, yeah. no. It's I don't think the brain has enough time to like go into boredom or like yeah. think of wander. Like, yeah. It's just always yeah. absorbing so much fucking information mm. at such a rapid yeah, rate we're, that we're not. We're not, not supposed to have the access to all of this. No. They I'm like, us. I don't even know these fucking people. They want us fucking distracted and numb so we don't know the world is ending, man. It's coming. Um, yep. Where can we find you on social media, Blair? <laughs> hey, anyway, um, where can we ever find you on Where can everyone find please, you? Please. <laughs> please, I'm extremely active. Um, <laughs> not, you don't like being active in the home. But like <laughs> <laughs> I like to be active in my hole. Um, <laughs> where, where can we find your hole? Oh, my, <laughs> you can find my hole. That's so funny if you're saying like I've been posting some thotty pictures just a straight up just sh- like fucking, <laughs> fucking close up photo of your ass I was gonna do that I applied to one of those diversity fellowships and they were gonna be like they were the part they were like explain why you're diverse and I texted my friend I was like do you dare me to attach a JPEG of my actual oh pussy my <laughs> oh, my how God. funny would that be that would be amazing <laughs> You can find my hot hole at <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram at Blair Saki B L A I R S O C C I and also come to my show at Genghis Cohen in West Hollywood every Tuesday at eight PM. It's a really fun show. Yeah. Great food too. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta have you guys on. Yeah, love please. to. And uh, yeah. thanks so much for doing the show. Oh my god, it was so fun. A dream come true. Yeah. All See right, you guys. Bye. Bye. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.